before we get into linear equations and lines, we first review how to manipulate equalities. So if I'm given an equation with several variables, I'm gonna to wanna to know how to isolate one of those variables. Okay, so we have our variable by itself on one side of the equality, everything else on the other. Now, for that, we start with a checklist. So first step, we wanna simplify things on either side if possible. Then, we'll wanna separate into two sides of the equality. So if our variable's x, I wanna put any terms that have an x on one side of the equality, everything else on the other side. At this stage, the rules that I use, if I have a plus b equal to c plus d, say we wanna isolate a, the b can be pushed to the other side as a minus b. If I have a minus b, I can push the minus b to the other side as a b. Once we've pushed things to both sides, as indicated, we see if we can simplify things again. Once we get to that step, I wanna get our variable, say x, all by itself, so no number in front. The rule we use there, if I have b times a equal to c plus d, I isolate by just having a equal to one over b, parentheses c plus d, or we distribute to get c over b plus d over b. If I have a minus b, same idea. We'll have a minus one over b, parentheses c plus d, equal to minus c over b, minus c over d. Then for a final step, if it applies, we check our work. So we put whatever we get out that's isolated back into the original equation to see if it makes sense. Now, we'll work through a few examples just to show all this. So first example, I wanna solve for y in the equation, three y plus five equals minus 10 plus 12. First step, we see if we can simplify things. I note here, I can combine the minus 10 and 12 to get a two. So that's my first step. I can't simplify anything on either side from here. So go to the next step, which is to try to isolate all the terms with y. So I wanna push this five to the other side. Now by a rule, I could just push it over as a minus five. If we want a procedure, note, if I wanna cancel out this plus five, what I do is add a minus five. But because I have an equality, I have to add a minus five to both sides to leave the equality alone. So when I add minus five to both sides, okay, this plus five goes away. Two minus five is equal to minus three. Now you'll note we have all y terms on this side, all non y terms on the other. We move on to our next step, which is just to isolate the y. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by a one third. On this side, the one third and the three cancel leave me with y. On this side, the one third times a minus three gives me a minus one. So that's my answer. I've isolated y, y is equal to minus one. In this case, it makes sense to check. So what I'll do is I'll take y equals minus one, put that into our original equation to make sure we haven't made any errors. So what do we have? If I put minus one in here, we have minus three plus five, which is two. On the other side, I also have two, so that checks out. Next, we solve for x in the equation, minus four x minus 16 equals 12 x plus 32. We go through our checklist. Step one, we see if we can simplify. Here we have an x term and a non-x term on both sides, so they don't combine. So step one's taken care of. We move to step two, I wanna put all the x terms on the left-hand side, all the non-x terms on the right-hand side. So, our rule would say, take the minus 16, push it to the right as a 16, take the 12x, push it to the left as a minus 12x. Let's do this the long way. Now, to get rid of this minus 16, I add a plus 16, but I have to add plus 16 to both sides to keep the equality. So when we do that, minus 16 and plus 16 go away, leaving me with a minus four X. On this side, I have a 12 X, and then 32 plus 16 is 48. Now, I wanna push the 12 X to the left-hand side as a minus 12 X. So to make this 12 X disappear, we add a minus 12 X, but we do it to both sides to keep the equality. Now, when we do that, 12 X and minus 12 X cancel out, 48 goes to 48. 
Then on this side, minus 4x minus 12x gives a minus 16x. Now I have all of our x terms on one side, non-x terms on the other. Move to the next step. Okay, there's nothing to simplify. So we go to step four. I want to get rid of the minus 16. So the rule just says, multiply both sides, five minus one over 16. Now we do that to both sides. So it just cancels on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, I have minus one over 16 times 48. That's going to reduce to a minus three. So that's our answer, x equals minus three. Here, we could check our work. So I'll put a minus three back into the original equation, and make sure that the equality holds. So on the left-hand side, I have minus four times minus three minus 16. 12 minus 16 gives me a minus four. On the right-hand side, I have 12 times minus three plus 32, again, giving me a minus four. So our answer checks out. Let's try one with two variables. So here we're gonna have an equation in two variables. I'm gonna to want to isolate one of them. So here I wanna isolate y in the equation, 3x plus 5y equals minus y minus x plus six. So it's the same checklist. Start by saying if we can simplify, okay, I can't combine x and y terms, can't combine y, x, and numbers. So there's nothing to simplify here. Now, I wanna isolate y, so I wanna push this 3x to the other side. Okay, it goes over as a minus 3x. Then I wanna take this y, minus y and move it over to the left-hand side, and that goes over as a y. Okay, of course, we'll do it the long way, make sure we know what we're doing. Now, to move the 3x, okay, to make this go away, I add a minus 3x to both sides. When we add, okay, so this goes away, we have a 5y minus y comes down, I have a minus x minus 3x, gives me a minus 4x, and then six just comes down. Here, next step, I wanna push the minus y to the other side as a plus y. So to make this go away, we add a plus y to both sides to keep the equality. Then I just add down. So I get a six y, minus y and y is gonna to go to zero, minus four x goes to itself, six goes to itself. And then we have this equation here. Note, all of the y terms are on one side, all of the non-y terms are on the other side. Okay, and that includes the term with the x. Now, to get rid of the six, what do we do? We're gonna multiply both sides by one sixth. Okay, if we do it the long way, remember, there's parentheses around here. So I wanna make sure I distribute that one sixth to both terms. So on this side, one sixth times six y is equal to y. On the other side, I have one six minus four x plus six, okay, in parentheses, so I have to distribute. So I get a minus four six x plus six over six, or a minus two thirds x plus one. So we've isolated y, y is equal to minus two thirds x plus one. Now, we could check this by just sticking y in this form back into the original equation. See that we get things on both sides equal to each other, We'll skip that. We'll have better ways to check this when we study lines. For a last example, let's isolate x in the equation. Minus 3x minus 5y is equal to minus 2y minus x plus 6. Now, here are the variables x. So I want to push all of our x terms to the left-hand side, all of our non-x terms to the right-hand side. Looking at the equation, okay, we see that there's nothing to combine, so we can't simplify. So we move to step two. So I wanna push this minus five y to the right-hand side as five y, minus x goes to the left-hand side as a plus x. Okay, we work it out the long way. So we're gonna add five y to both sides, then minus five y and five y goes to zero, minus three x goes to itself, minus 2y plus 5y goes to 3y. Then we have minus x going to itself, six to itself. Then I have the equation here. Then I wanna move this minus x to the other side as x. So if I wanna cancel this minus x, I just add a plus x. We do it to both sides to keep the equality. We add, so minus x and x is zero. Six goes to itself, 3y goes to itself, minus 3x plus x goes to minus 2x. Now I have an equation 
On one side, we have only x terms. On the other, we have non-x terms. Okay, and that includes the y term. There's nothing to simplify here. So we go to our last step. So I want to get rid of this minus 2x, and we do that by multiplying by minus a half. Now, remember, this 3y plus 6 is in parentheses, so I have to distribute that minus a half to each term. When I do that, we get minus 3 halves y minus 6 over 2, or minus 3 halves y minus 3. So our final answer, we have x equal to minus 3 halves y minus 3. If we wanted to check, we would put this expression back into the original equation where we see an x. And just check that we have an equality still. Of course, we skip that because we'll have better checks later on when we do lines.